Welcome, welcome, welcome to the command center. So now there's a alleged report <laughs> that the feds are snooping around in regards to Dan Snyder's financial shenanigans or alleged shenanigans in regards to the Washington football commanders. Um, as you know, you all heard the news. Dan Snyder and Tanya Snyder has reached out to the Bank of America securities firm or division of that bank uh, to explore the possibilities of transactions, sale transactions for the Washington commanders. Now that can mean a lot of different things. It could be a minority state. They might be, you know, a minority, a portion of the team that he could be selling. It could be a um, full sale of the team, which I know a lot of people in this area will just have a parade and they're going off their minds right now. So, um, but the Fed thing is interesting. So somebody must have gave them the heads up. Because as you know, a couple of weeks ago, they put out a statement saying they won't sell the team. Well, they wasn't. They weren't. They wasn't going to sell the team. So, very interesting events um, that's happening here in D.C. Um, if he does sell, I, I did a video maybe a couple of weeks ago in regards to my top five, um, uh, potential ownership groups. Um, a lot of people I see on Twitter, uh, they, they kind of favor Jeff Bezos running the team or owning the team, uh, but the, the sale of this team, this is not one of your average franchises. Um, the Denver Broncos sold for, I think, $4.6 million. Washington is projected in Forbes to go for, the, to be worth five point six. So that's $100 billion more. Billion dollars more. $100 billion more. Um, that's a big number. So... Like I said before, I think the NFL really likes families who have money. And uh, they really like that, you know, the Rooney family, uh, the George Hollis family, the Yorks. Um, a lot of different, um, the Mares, a lot of different families that are on the team. Um, I still like Steve Ballmer, maybe even Elon Musk. Um, but it'd be interesting. Whatever the sale might be, uh, whoever the owners emerge, what what owners emerge. I think I heard that uh, uh, saw that uh, the Lerner family was was actually interested. Could be a potential buyer. Uh, they got their own issues with the Nationals, but uh, especially with that Masson deal they got with the Orioles. But <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, I'm just coming on for a short one. I'm not going to be long and I'm not going to hold you. But um, if I had my guess, Bomber might be a front runner. Definitely Jeff Bezos. He's already entrenched with the NFL. Um, but Elon Musk, that's the wild card. So don't rule him out. Anyways. And I get more updates on the sale or more detailed information because it's all fresh and new. And I don't like to speculate, but I know I did already, but we'll see. But uh, keep keep the name Elon Musk uh, in the back of your, you know, in your conscience because that that might <laughs> that might happen. All right. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Peace.